Hey, it's Clay Trade, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ABIL. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I did this analysis yesterday, so that's where this green line annotation is coming from. Uh, but after today's price action, you know, this line way down there seems kind of goofy. Um, so I'll actually use that, at, you know, just to update the chart a little bit. Sure, this line here still pertains, but it's not really relevant anymore. And from a presentation standpoint and not wanting to risk causing clutter with a million lines everywhere because cl clutter can lead to confusion, uh, you know, we'll just try to keep this as clean as possible. So first level of support and one of the newest areas of support is right up here at 98 cents. And this is what I would call the ideal level, meaning if you say, hey, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? That would be if the price can stay up above 98 cents. Now, don't get me wrong if the price falls below it i'm not sitting here saying that the entire chart's ruined or anything like that but yeah if the price can manage to continue to stay up above that point that would certainly be the best case scenario taking a step back though and looking at really just the big picture of things and in terms of hey clay i want to just gauge how do i gauge the health how do i gauge the strength of the overall move that right be right there being defined as the overall move that is where this purple line here comes into play which is the famous 50 period simple moving average key where they're being moving so as time goes by, that purple line is just gonna keep on moving itself higher and higher and higher. So from a very cut and dry perspective, in terms of measuring the, the overall strength of the move, simply put, as long as the price stays above that purple line as the line itself moves itself higher and higher, then the bulls are in full control, the bulls are in full health, no questions asked. Now what about areas of resistance? Two key levels of resistance. First one is being what I like to call the fun one, and that's up there at $1.28. I'll be the first to admit uh, that talking about you know testing previous highs, breaking new highs is, is very fun, and that's what $1.28 represents. But in many cases, as is the case here, usually there's other bridges that first need to be crossed. And in this situation, that first bridge that needs to be crossed is $1.17. So sure, $1.28 is without question a level of resistance, but before you start talking about doing battle, uh, you know, with the dollar twenty-eight bulls, first got to get themselves back up above a dollar seventeen. So, no doubt about it. Very nice way to end the week. We'll see how this all unfolds next week. One of the biggest questions I get is, "Hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade?" So, what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.